I thank you. Uh, thank you, world. Um, but truly, I, you know, I, I watched the first Gladiator with my father in the year 2000 when I was in university at a crappy Odeon cinema in Romford, just outside of London. If anybody's ever been there, you, you know what it's like. Um, and so it's a kind of life comes full circle, and obviously we have the best leader in Sir Ridley Scott, one of the great masters of cinema, and I'm lucky that I've worked with him for a, a decade, and I've got to work with these extraordinary actors and artists and all the rest of our cast that aren't with us tonight. So it takes a village. Um, we hope that you love this movie. Um, it's been a labor of love for all of us, and uh, again, we are so delighted to be in Sydney with you all and uh, presenting uh, Gladiator 2 to you, so thank you. Fred, you play the Emperor alongside your on-screen brother, Joseph Quinn. What would you like us to know about the brothers and about your role before we see the movie? Uh, well, first, just... Thank you all so much for being here. This is truly amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, Joe, Joe also wishing he's filming right now, so he sends his love to, to everybody here. Um, Please give him a big hug and a kiss back from all of yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we are a sick duo. We're very sick in the head. And uh, Rome is not so hot on us at the beginning, but I really do hope you enjoy us, because they were very fun to play. I love it. Connie, we get to have you back. You're, of course, in... Yes! You, of course, start alongside our own Russell Crowe in the original Gladiator. What's this journey been like for you from that film and now to this? It feels surreal. I, I really can't say it any other way. It's just so crazy to come back into this incredibly rich world that Gladiator 2 is uh, as a continuation on Gladiator 1. And because of Ridley Scott and the kind of world that he builds, it's so nuanced, it's so textured, it's so amazing and deep. And, and this time, I just has, have been so blessed with this incredible cast uh, to work with as well. Just amazing. Paul, welcome back to Sydney. It's always great to have you. Thanks for having me. As everyone is about to see, you are absolutely incredible in this film. We want to know a little bit about what it was like to make um, the character so complex with this great backstory. What was it like bringing that character to life, working with Sir Ridley Scott? I just want to say this is absolutely fucking mad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be here with friends and to be walking along the red carpet and to see this amount of people so far away from home. It really isn't isn't lost on us, and, and I actually don't want to talk too much about the film because you're about to see it now. I think that curse is something, but uh, I think the person that I do want to talk about who's not here that Mike mentioned is the great Sir Ridley Scott, who um, has changed my life today. Probably Connie's 24 years ago, Fred's and Mike's. He is one of the greatest to ever do it. He's one of my friends that I will cherish for the longest time. But ultimately, this is a night to see. 2,400 people in here to celebrate cinema. That's a massive success in my book. And anybody who waited on that red carpet, you've made my absolute day. So thank you so much for being here. Before we roll the film, is there anything the rest of us, uh, the rest of you would like us to know before we watch the film? Anything at all? Uh... <laughs> No, I hope, you, I hope you enjoy it, yeah. I think just hold on to your seats because it's going to be an incredible ride. And just enjoy it, guys. It's insane. This is the way to see it. This screen, uh, this audience, this is the way to see it. We're, we're so grateful. Thank you, Sydney. This is a, a movie for the big screen guys and thank you for being here and the Senate in the way we wanted you to see it so thank you Sydney thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand by.
Michael, Greg, Tony, and 